As autumn began, it became important that Abigail established dominance. Since it had become obvious, the Civil Corps officers were useless. So I challenged Arlo to a duel while wearing my going-to-meeting dress, which I won easily. He shall never live this down. I celebrated by getting a new fall haircut. I changed basically nothing, except to make my bangs shorter so I could finally see out of my right eye. This would surely aid my progress moving forward. Over on the farm, I helped Emily pick watermelons, and we ate them on her porch together. This in no way had sexual overtones. For Emily. Somewhere in the back of Abigail's mind, however, it became clear why it would have never worked out with that boy back in Pelican Town. He could never grow melons like that. After having a deep personal realization, it was off to the desert to plant several rows of trees, so see what could stop complaining about sand in his pancakes. This is apparently a big problem in the world of Portia. Who would have thought? Now full of determination and armed with the giant hammer, I saved the Squirtle Squad yet again. This time, they had run afoul of Dr. Robotnik in the desert mines. I bested his robot spider thing with great enthusiasm. We escaped the mines, much to Higgins' dismay. He was likely upset because I had finally surpassed him to become the greatest workshop in Portia. This was not surprising since I was single-handedly building everything in town while he just smirked a lot. If you have time to smirk, you have time to work. At the Harvest Festival, I failed to make an impression. My melons could never compare to Emily's. Again, Abigail drifted off for a moment, but the caterpillar let her know that everything would be okay. Damn, that caterpillar has game. Since the town believed I could literally build anything they could imagine, I proved them right by making some hot air balloons. Time for the Instagram photo. Some people may ask why this was a priority for the town. I would ask, why wouldn't it be? If you had the option between repaving the roads or building a hot air balloon, which one would you choose? Of course you'd choose hot air balloon every single time. In the final hours of the last day of autumn, I finished construction of several wind turbines. Because of course I did. Who knew it was this easy to create a green energy economy? Bob the Builder has nothing on Abigail. But it's all worth it to see the scowl on Higgins' face. If you have time to scowl, you have time to... work. Okay, they can't all be winners. And that will do it for this episode. We shall see what happens to Abigail as she finishes year one in winter on the next episode. <laughs>